just between you and me, have you ever like thought you saved your files off the little SD memory cards and then um, went and went about your day, filmed something really cool to come back to your computer to realize you never saved what was originally on the card. So now you might have some crispy shots of something new. You don't actually have the other project that you filmed. Um, yeah, I've been there a couple of times. Um, so I thought I'd put together a little video and tell you my three foolproof ways of letting that never happen again. Before I get into my three step process, I just need to take you through a little, a little bit of story time about a couple of times um, that it's actually happened to me. Um, I have lost all the media. What happened the other day was actually, I remember I was out filming. Uh, we just wrapped, I said something like, cut, good job everyone. I dumped out the SD cards. I looked around and said, yeah, good. Went about my day, thought I copied it all off. And then the next day I came in, we had to shoot something. So then I grabbed it, I'm like, this should be good to go. Put it in my camera then that thing comes up, you know, memory card full. You need to format the memory card. It's good practice. It helps make sure data protects. It's like, it's a good thing to do. You should format your cards. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to format this card. Everything's going to be cool. I even remember looking around going, you know what? I'm going to format this card. It'll be fine. Then, and then it hit me. And then I realized when I got back to my computer that literally this project that we were editing, I didn't, I didn't copy it anything. And literally that was the worst thing ever. I had to call the client and be like, yo sup, I don't actually have your footage anymore. That's been crazy. Not just to mention formatting memory cards. I've actually lost hard, these hard drives right here. These little things, this guy, this actual one, this guy. February, 2014, not a good year for the little old Joshy. This Western digital drive actually fell off my desk. Unassisted, nobody touched the desk. Nobody did anything, it just fell off my desk and smashed into a million pieces for a short film we were making. Um, also, didn't have that backed up and I'd already formatted the card, so no way of getting the footage at all. And then I had to take it to data recovery and you're like, you hand this in. I remember handing this in to this guy and he was just like, yo, I'll, I'll handle this. And then, I, and then he kept calling me going, oh, you got a lot of files on here. And I'm like, yeah, I've got a lot of files. It's, it's video, there's a lot of files. And then he would be like, oh, which ones do you want? And I said, can I have all of them? And he goes, that's four terabytes. And I said, yeah, I need it. Um, and that cost me a lot of money and I still didn't get all the video back and I somehow stitched together with a bunch of random shots. If you don't have good me media management, you're calling for chaos. So the three step process is something I've come up to make sure that this, this never happens to me ever again. Like it eliminates anywhere anything could go wrong. And I wanna just pass this knowledge on to you and I hope you take it on board and do the same unless you wanna be like me. I remember little Josh, little old Josh back in the day, watching these videos, hearing people's advice, people that have gone before and telling me that, you know what, you should, you should back it up. You know what, you shouldn't trust a 150, you know, you're getting paid a lot of money to film and on your expensive camera and expensive, but you, you a $150 drive and you don't back it up. Oh. Younger times, you know, innocence is not bliss. <laughs> Take what I'm saying and just do it. You'll thank me later when your drive actually fails five years down the road and you're like, oh, SD cards aren't bulletproof. Oh, they are made by humans or machines. I don't know how they're made, but things go wrong out of your control. Just out of it. So you just want to do it. So, right. Step one is my favorite step. It is this thing, this thing right here. How good is it? This little thing. Step one. This is it, it is called Dump Format. And what it is, a little mechanism, 3D printed by a good friend of mine, John Paul, look him up, Instagram down below. And he's selling these as well. They're just, I think they're $25 or something. Link in the description, hit him up on Insta, he'll hook you up. But this has changed my life. So basically, when you come back from a shoot, you take your SD card out of your camera, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in the dump side. So you take, that's the first thing you do. You don't put it in your computer, don't chuck it all on your desk like I used to do, put it in there. And then what you do is one at a time, as you're offloading, you take it out of the dump side, you put it in, you transfer it. Once the transfer is done, you take it out and you put it in the format side. It works so well. And can I say, I've had I've been using this for about three months now and I haven't had one hiccup and I've been filming a lot. So take it from me, this is the step one. You wanna have a good system of making sure you're not mismanaging your media and like big movies, not even big movies, proper shoots 
have a DIT station, which what that person's sole job is to do is just to make sure the media is offloaded. And I bet you, all those DITs out there watching this video, you're probably gonna want one of these too. So that is probably my favorite thing. This lives on my desk and it is a big part of step one of making sure you never lose media. It's effectively getting it from your camera onto your computer. So that's step one, get a dumb format. Really awesome thing. Now step two is actually the file management to make sure you always have anything and you can always find everything. That's the two things. You wanna make sure your footage is actually on your hard drive and then you wanna actually make sure you can find it later in like the next day to years to come. It's really handy. So this is the best file management you will ever learn. So we're just gonna start new here. So we're gonna go into 2020, create that there. Fantastic. Now in 2020, we're gonna name our project. Just don't, don't just go naming sick edit or something like that. Don't just don't go doing that. You wanna put the date first and you always start with year, month, date. Now the reason I've done it this way is because when you have to search, everything will be in order as you create it because sometimes it's not as easy to remember that you name things weird. You know, sometimes you're just doing a little sick edit and you name it sick edit V1 volume 20. Like, so you wanna make sure that if you start with years, it's sometimes easier to recall when things were filmed. And also if it's for a client job, if a client calls up and is like, hey, Josh, can I have that video we filmed three years ago? And you can't remember that. Sometimes you remember when it was, or if they go, oh, it was filmed in February. You can easily go back and find that project and it, like, it eliminates it and it'll always be in order. So if you go year, month, day, it'll always keep everything in order. And I date it um, when the project folder gets created. So you might be filming in a couple of days, but you're already building assets, you do that. So create that. You go in and then you want to label it. So you got your footage folder and then in that, if you've got multiple cameras, name the cameras in there. So you want to put those in there. So it's just me and this one. So it's just going to be Josh. Um, so it's just the 90D, which I'm labeling here. So it's, it's pretty simple. And then as you build things, editing files, assets, master renders, you build it out as it's needed. But if it's not needed, don't put it in. And that way, you know your footage is in there. Boom. We're sorted. Now we're moving on to step three, the ultimate step. Get a hard drive that can back up footage. So what I've got over here is my edit drive. And now my edit drive is 16 terabytes, but I've got it set in a RAID configuration that actually lets me edit off eight terabytes at a time. And then exactly a mirror copy of that eight terabytes is on the other eight terabyte drive. So I know it's 16 terabytes and you lose half of it, but having an eight terabyte drive is a pretty good size that you're not like needing to offload all the time. And then having that backed up the whole time is just such a good peace of mind. So I recommend getting a good drive like this Lacey drive. Get a drive that can do RAID and backup themselves. That's probably the best thing to do and it's a bit more reliable, but there are, there are other options. These little hard drives, so these are 150. So what you could do is you can get this hard drive, you can then get another hard drive, and then you can set that hard drive to time machine and then it can actually back up all the footage every day onto that other drive. And then you have two copies. And then if one, I don't know, magically falls off your desk, you've got a backup, so you're all good. <sighs> I have so much anxiety back to those days, oh my gosh. So that are the three steps I take in with every project, no matter what I film, this very video has that process in place. When I film, I put it in my dump format holder. I then make sure once it's been dumped onto the, my new file structure, which is year first, month, day, it then goes, into the format side and then I back up the footage and then I always make sure it backs up automatically. I don't, it's stress-free, it is stress-free. And can I just tell you, if you follow these simple steps, you'll be thanking me in no time. And trust me, I heed this warning. If your drives haven't failed, they will fail. Um, it's just gonna happen. The odds aren't in your favor, <laughs> um, literally. So they're gonna crash. So just please, if you're not doing some form of backup or better file structure, do it now. Um, links for all these awesome things which I've shown will be in the description below. For the dumb format card, I'll put his Instagram handle in. It's a good man of mine, John Paul. He'll hook you up. Just say Joshy Boy sent you and he'll 3D print you a fresh batch. Check it out. Uh, definitely maybe subscribe to the channel because I'm doing this weekly and I'm thinking every Tuesday is feeling like a good day for me in Australia. If you're watching this in America, obviously not Tuesday because I live in the future. So every Tuesday there'll be a bid, so subscribe, put in the comments of your media management workflow, or actually put in the comments of those horror times that you've had drives fail. So I know you people are out there. Please don't let me just be the only one that's formatted cards and like media management. Anyway, I hope you're all doing awesome and I'll see you next time. Peace.